Probably the question I get asked more often than any others is, is my opal real or is it fake? So tonight we're going to play a little game of spot the fake. And the second most common question I get is where is my opal from? So we're going to try to address that as well. Now when your stone is in a setting, you're going to have to rely entirely on the appearance face up you can't see the sides or the back but if you have the option if your stone is not set it's actually quite easy to tell so our first one here is the fake this is a lab created opal as they call it so you can see the pattern is very consistent and uniform and there's no blemishes or sand of any kind, which would be great except when you look at it from the side, something is clearly amiss. In the back, hmm, exactly the same. That really doesn't happen in nature. Most typically your light base opals are going to be from Cooper Pedy, and this is a very typical Cooper Pedy opal in that it's just a white base. As you can see, the pattern is not consistent. It gets larger and smaller. It has areas that are brighter and less bright. And if we look at it from the side, we can see that there's actually a layer of potch on the back, as well as a little spot of dirt. Obviously, a fake opal would not have a spot of dirt on it or potch. So this is clearly real. Our next contestant again if we look at the side we can see that it's mostly potch with just a thin color bar on top and voila we have some dirt on there as well So even though it's a fairly consistent pattern and doesn't really change size, we can tell quite easily that that's real. Now this one might be a little trickier. This is a Cooper Pedy crystal oval. So this is a double-sided stone. If I clean the wax off, You can see that it is, in fact, the same, more or less, on both sides. But it doesn't have that parallel um, column type pattern from the side. And if we look very carefully, I'm sure we can find a blemish of some kind. Again, when it's mined from the earth, coming out of the dirt, it would be very unlikely that it would be completely clean and flawless everywhere. I can't seem to... wait, wait. I think I saw some dirt. Right there. So those are Australian opals. The one that might give you guys out there the most difficulty would be the Wilo from Ethiopia. These have a tendency to be very, very clean. 
have a consistent pattern all the way through and to not have any potch, not even on the back. So they do show basically the same color on the top as on the bottom. But you'll notice as compared to the Australian opals, the Ethiopian opal has sort of a watery quality, for lack of a better word. And the color sort of seems to be floating inside as opposed to just writing on the surface. And if we look carefully, we can see those two little black dots. Let me try to wipe them off. Those are, in fact, needle-type inclusions and not, uh, not specks of dirt. So we know this is a natural stone. Um, a fake stone would not have a, a needle type inclusion. Whoop, there we go. Well, I hope that helped. If you guys have any more questions or uh, suggestions for videos I can make in the future, please let me know.